Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and I'm here with another Ulta haul. I did a lot of my holiday shopping this weekend, and here it is. I've got two rather large bags here that I'm going to unpack for you right now. Um, this is not all for me. A lot of it are um, gifts and things like that for the holidays. What I've decided to do for my friends this year for Christmas is instead of buying them each a gift set, I bought a couple of gift sets that I'm going to break up into five separate little um, bundles and I'm gonna put them in cute little bags and things like that so a lot of these gift sets are going to be separated out the first couple sets that I have reached out and grabbed are both from the body shop I've got five of their body butters here in oh no the first couple of sets that I have pulled out are both from the body shop this first one has five of their travel size body butters it has strawberry coconut moringa satsuma and shea and this was $25, so that's a good little deal for all of them. And then I also picked up the same in the lip butters, and this is the same except instead of moringa, it has honey. So I'm going to split all those up. I'll probably match them and um, give those out to my friends. Another set that I picked up is this fragrance sampler of um, a bunch of different fragrances. I think it has 12 in here. Yep, yeah, 12-piece fragrance collection. It's called the Finishing Touches, and they're all like little baby sizes of them, and I'm probably going to give like two or three to each of my friends. Ulta has the five for five table going on right now, which basically you pick like five things and they're each a dollar um, when you get five, and so I picked up five of these to put in my friends' bags. These are the Chi, ooh, Chi Silk Infusion for hair and skin. They were a dollar each, so I thought I might as well, and this is a good product. You can use it on dry skin or the ends of your hair to keep them, uh, you know, nice looking. From Bare Minerals, I picked up this little kit. This is the Lip Spectacular Kit. It's got six of their Marvelous Moxie Buttercream Lip Glosses, which you know I've raved about the color Tantalizing Honey before, so I figured that I have five of these to give away and one to keep for myself, and this kit is $26. This kit has the shades Forbidden Nude, Juicy Mango, Sassy Sorbet, Must Have Pink, Flirty Mauve, and Moody Berry. I picked up a set of five eyeliners from Laura Geller. This is the Eye Care Waterproof Liners Collection in the shades Pennywise, Eggplant, Gunmetal, Navy, and Black. I picked up six miniature bottles of the Bedhead Masterpiece Hairspray, one for me and five for my friends. It smells delicious, it works well, it adds shine and hold to your hair without being super, super sticky or anything like that, and this miniature bottle is just precious. I think those are all of the sets that I picked up to split up amongst my friends. The rest of the things in this haul are things I've been either wanting for a really long time or some of my old favorites that I just picked up to have on hand when I run out. One thing that you know is one of my absolute favorites of all time is Purity from Philosophy. I picked up another large bottle of it. I still have like three quarters of a bottle of this going, but I wanted to have another one just for when I run out. Also from the Purity range from Philosophy, I picked up another of the Purity mask, which I am actually just about to run out of. I've talked about this mask a couple times on my channel before, so I'm gonna quickly just tell you again why it's one of my favorites. The smell is great and clean. It does really well at deep cleansing the skin while leaving it very soft um, and like radiant. It doesn't strip your skin and it doesn't like hurt or tingle or burn. It's just gorgeous and fast. It only takes 60 seconds, so it's just one of those perfect go-to things for me. Another skincare favorite that I am about to run out of is It's Potent from Benefit. This is one of those products I will never be without. I always pick one up before I finish my first one. I cannot stress to you how great this product is. I've been using it for slightly over a year now. I find myself using way less under eye concealer because this has brightened up under my eyes taken away a lot of the darkness that used to be there, as well as keeping my under eyes hydrated throughout the day. One bath favorite that I picked up is this from The Tree Hut. It is the Shea, the Shea Sugar Body Scrub, and this is the original scent. This smells like baking Christmas cookies. It's got like a brown sugar kind of smell to it. I just love this one, especially in the holiday season. Using this one leaves me super hydrated, nice and soft as well as like the scent of this one lingers on your skin for a couple of hours after you use it, so it's really nice this time of year. I picked up a body wash to use this Christmas season. This is Party Penguin, and this is from Ulta's house brand. This is a peppermint and coconut scented shower gel. Another bath product that I picked up is this from Life NK. This is the Daily Fix Muscle Relief Bath Soak, and this is basically like liquid bath salts. 
It's got um, like dissolved dead sea salt, eucalyptus, peppermint, lavender, rosemary. It's like a very herbal, good, relaxing scent. Um, and you know I always talk about having like stress and muscle like tightness and whatnot. So I thought I would pick this up and try it because it smells darn good. And I also picked up from the same brand, the Float Away Milk Soak, which is basically like the same thing. It doesn't have salts in it, but it's got a bunch of oils, sweet almond oil, castor oil, um, active milk polypeptides, things that sound really good for your skin, and this one smells um, like lily, geranium, and violet, sweet uh, cedar, sweet vanilla, um, and it's really calming and nice, probably really great for taking a bath at night. I finally got my hands on the Real Techniques NYX Picks set. Mostly excited about this for the cheek brush, which is this one here. I have such a hard time finding appropriately sized and shaped cheek brushes for my blush because I don't like too much of it, so I'm super excited to try that one out. I picked up two single-use masks from the Body Shop. This is the Vitamin E Sink In Moisture Mask, which I've used before, and it is great. I really like to use this um, after, like, a day of wearing a lot of makeup or after anything where my skin could possibly be super dry, which is pretty much every day uh, during the fall and winter. And I also picked up the Seaweed Ionic Clay Mask, which is really great at deep pore cleansing. Another product that I have used before and finished up is the Mario Badescu Alpha Grapefruit Cleansing Lotion. I used this, a whole bottle of this up really quickly a couple of months ago, and then I moved on to the Boots Botanics, like, all bright one, and I didn't get so well with that one, so I thought that I would go back to using the one that I know my skin likes, so I picked up a new bottle of that, and I also picked up this from Vichy. It's the Purité Thermal Le 3-in-1 um, Calming Cleansing Micellaire Solution, which is basically, like the closest thing I can imagine to be to Bioderma that I can pick up in the United States. Um, and I have actually had a sample of this before and I really liked it. It's great at removing makeup and it's also really, really calming, especially when I have like exfoliated my skin. I like to use this on a cotton pad after to kind of bring everything back. I also picked up the full shampoo and conditioner from Living Proof. I've never tried anything from Living Proof before, but I have a couple of friends that love them, and I've heard so many great reviews about the product range, so I thought I would pick up these to try out. I chose a full because I like a lot of volume in my hair. And of course, I did not go into Ulta and not buy myself any makeup. I did pick up from their drugstore side another Maybelline Fit Me concealer. This time I got the lightest shade, um, Fair 15 and I am excited to use this. I think it's going to be a little bit more highlighting, as well as um, I haven't been self-tanning anymore, so I think it's going to be actually closer to my correct color. And I also picked up from Maybelline the Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation um, in the shade 15 Ivory. I have been wanting to try this because I hear it is very similar to the um, Bare Skin from Bare Minerals, which I love, um, and all of those kind of serum texture foundations, so I'm excited to give this one a go. Also, from Revlon, I picked up this. This is their Ultra HD Lip Lacquer in the shade 570 Smoky Topaz, and this is just a nudie color. I've been looking at this online, I saw some swatches, and I really wanted to try it out, so I picked up this one. From It Cosmetics, I picked up this, which is their Eye Lift in a Tube. On one side, it's got the um, Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, and on the other, it has the Hello Light Liquid Brightener. I thought this would be great for any day, um, great for traveling because it's got a highlighter on there as well as a concealer. And this is the shade Light Medium Neutral, which I assumed would be my color. The fair one looked like white white, so I hope this one works. Speaking of highlighter, I picked up this from Becca. This is the glow to go Portable Shimmering Skin Perfector Trio. It was $25 for three travel sizes of their liquid highlighter in the shades Pearl, Opal, and Champagne Gold, which is basically like a whitish, a uh, goldish, and a rose goldish kind of colors. So I am super excited to try these out because I've heard great things. People talk about them all the time on YouTube and I've never been able to get my hands on them. So to try three of them at one time is gonna be super awesome. Something new I picked up from Bare Minerals is this little mini here. This is the Touch Up to Glow, which is basically just a little uh, touch-up veil with a brush, and it's in gold packaging, which is 
80% of the reason why I bought it. It's cute and mini and it's perfect for on-the-go travel. And I think this is the last thing. This is from Smashbox. It is their Sunkissed Matte Bronze Light Skin Perfecting Bronzer. I have used for over a year at this point my Marc Jacobs bronzer and I am obsessed with it but the packaging is huge so I picked up something a little bit smaller that I can travel with and I have used this in the past and I was you know happy with it then so I thought I would get my hands on it again and use it. That was everything! I know it was long and a lot because I bought you know the whole store um, but I have been saving up my Ulta points for like a whole year and I had a bunch to cash in so don't be too scared. I didn't spend as much money as it looks like I did. Um, and yeah, I was just really excited to get all or most of my holiday shopping for my friends done in one go. So that's that. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the things that I talked about today or have any suggestions of things that I should try in the future, leave those in the comment bar below. Don't forget to check out my latest giveaway that is going on. That'll be right here. I'm giving away a palette from Cargo Cosmetics. Don't forget to check that out and enter to win. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed my holiday video and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both of those are at John John Talks and I'll see you all next time. Bye. What? Is this wrong? This is so wrong, isn't it? Oh, you don't want me to have a line under my chin? No. Okay, good. I know that much.